So I've been running syndicates on AngelList for about three years. And about a year into it, friends of mine started asking how they could do it. And so I started basically a service bureau to help other people do it. And we have about 40 different partners now who each run their own syndicate. Some of them are individuals, some of them are conference organizers, some of them are incubators. How many syndicates have gone through, or how many startups have filtered through those 40 different entities probably in the past, I think it's been three years since we started doing this? Probably 100 something. About 100 I'm, startups. I'm, I'm bad at tracking things, so I just do, and someone else has to clean up the mess afterwards. <laughs> kind of your philosophy of this, which is, and I kind of admired in a way, I don't want to say sloppy. I do. But you said that. <laughs> Take me in to your approach, which is, the way you say it, a little bit sloppy. Well, what does it mean to be, I guess, I think the, the right way to look at it would be is, you're kind of very open uh, to saying yes, in a way, and trying things. Well, I mean, there are a lot of entrepreneurs in the room. I started several companies, and you have to move fast, you break things, you know, the Facebook motto. Um, the finance industry doesn't think that way, and it's not clear to me why. Right. So it's the way we think about the world, and it's the way my team thinks about the world as well. Has there been, it's only been two or three years, most mm -hmm. of these companies take six, seven, eight, nine, ten years to have yeah. a meaningful exit. Have there been singles and doubles in the early days, and, and when do you expect a home run? Is there a home run in the brewing that you're particularly excited about? Yeah, you're right. The, the average track record to a sort of big exit is about eight years nowadays. Um, we've been doing it three. Uh, we've had a couple of singles, a couple of what I would call bunts, where you, know, you get your money back and no, nothing else. You get on base by having your head get hit by the ball. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Painful, but rewarding. It is fun. And uh, unfortunately, because I, I always try to undersell this stuff, last year was a pretty good year. And we had two billion dollar liquid outcomes. So really? Cruise, which got bought by GM, and Dollar Shave Club, which got bought by Unilever. And so all of a sudden, we're looking sloppy, but somewhat smart, I guess. And in some cases, those companies maybe didn't feel like venture-based investments. Mm -hmm. uh, razors from Korea? Yeah. The razors. Exactly. Hey everybody, you know how much I love Wistia. You know how much I love having control of my videos and how they're presented and the ability to grow our mailing list at This Week in Startups. So when you go to thisweekinstartups.com, you're going to see we use a product called Wistia, W-I-S-T-I-A, wistia.com. Go to wistia.com slash twist and you'll get a free account and you'll start hosting videos in minutes. Now, why is this so important? It's so important because you need to control in a business setting or in your podcast setting, you want to control the experience when people watch your video. You don't want wacky annotations, all kinds of ads layered onto it, cruft, garbage. And you certainly don't want your competitors' videos coming up and suggestions all around it. You want to control your experience and have a beautiful, clean experience that allows you to do high-end marketing techniques like put videos behind a paywall or a password, and to get people to sign up with an email and give them that prompt, hey, want to get the next episode, come to the launch festival free, put your email in, hey, want to get a white paper? Uh, they have over 330,000 using Wistia now. When they started on This Week in Startups, just like two or three years ago, they only had 50,000. So this company is growing amazingly. I mean, I wish I could be an investor in it. They are crushing it. And you get great analytics, trends, viewer streams. You can really see like, oh, people are rewinding the video and watching this section twice. I always find that fascinating. And as I said, it's super easy to use. You have tons of support. And one of the things they do great, and listen, you can go look at this for free. On their blog, they explain how to use microphones, how to use cameras, how to edit, how to make great content. All because they know that if you're coming from a business situation, you may not have made video before, but your consumers are demanding video and they want video on a regular basis. Video is the best way to communicate. You're hearing my voice. You're seeing me on thisweekinstartups.com. You want to watch videos when you come look at a product, service, or any website. You look for the video first, and Wistia is going to help you make and serve those great videos. They integrate with all the major email and marketing automation tools. 
clients include MailChimp, Moz, HubSpot, Zendesk, Herman Miller, Sam Adams, and of course, this week in startups and launch, we love it and get their guides to build using the right microphones and lighting and setup and all that kind of stuff. It's really great hacks. Wistia.com slash twist. I love this product. Go use it. Okay, let's get back to the program. 